Who was the bigger boss, Seiku or Killian? Ooh. Um, I would say Killian, to me, I think it's the better player, but he would probably be the bigger bust just because of the draft position. But I genuinely believe, like, if you're looking at both players, who do you think is a better player? Killian. I still think Killian's a yeah. better player. Yeah. So I would go... I would go Killian is the bigger bust just because of draft position. But, yeah. D-Buck says... Killian is the biggest bust, even over Darko. Yeah, I don't know about Not that. Not a chance. Not nah, a chance. Yeah. Darko was n- number two overall? Number two overall. Like... In the same we, draft we, we, as we, we LeBron talk, James, okay, Dwayne yeah. Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and Chris Bosh. That's what I was going to ask. When it comes to busts, like how often are you factoring that the guys? That definitely plays a factor. It does? Especially when there's three Hall of Famers drafted immediately after you. Oh, fuck. That is, that is rough. <laughs> the next <laughs> pick. Is, rough. The, the, is that the, fair to play a, a, a factor, though, in, like, in the bus? Like just It plays a factor, and when it's that big of a fuck-up, it plays a bigger factor. Are you in agreement, Chris? Like, yeah, if, I... I agree. I agree. And also, you got to think about it this way. Darko couldn't look good with five all-stars around him. Killian had no all-stars around him and didn't look good. And so if, like, if Killian was that's... drafted in front of, you know, Kevin Durant, Giannis, Jokic, and yeah. Anthony Davis, I'd be like, yeah, he, it, yep. he was the worst pick. But the Killian draft wasn't that fruitful. Yeah. I'm going to look at what, what uh, then Hal, the Hal, Halburn, Maxi are the two guards. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people pass on Maxi. Yeah. Well, Halliburton too, and Halliburton were like what? Yeah. Eleven, ten. Yeah, but still, there's there. I respect to those guys. They're not Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and Chris Bosh. By the way, I, I <clears> think <throat> I'd rather have Bobo over Killian. By the way, just because like I, I think like we're set at guard now with Monte, with Saucer, Sasser. We're like the four. I still like feel there's gonna be like some interchanging bodies. I mean, yeah, if you're telling me they're getting rid of a couple guys to bring, or getting rid of one of them and Killian. bringing in Bull Bull. We'd straight up swap. No. no. How many more teams does Killian have until he's out the league? One. The one. I think so, too. He'll go be a backup in, like, San Antonio. Golden State. <laughs> he's going to go somewhere, like, really good. That, that'd be the ball buster. I bet no, San Antonio will sign him. Could he? Because then Wemby can be calling out signals down the court. And fr- oh, ho, ho, ho. Big it, big it. Croissant. <laughs> Tony Parker. Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Wemby does like a fake spin to the alley-oop. <laughs> Pour les français. He likes croissants. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Like yeah. croissant. The crisscross croissant. That's a, that's the play that they run. That's the one-two play that the you know. Cross, cross, and it's gonna be like we're twenty years from now. We're gonna be looking at like the Shaq to Kobe, oop, Killian to, yeah, to Wemby. Here's Johnny says Halliburton. Hello. All right, you can tell me Halliburton's a, a Hall of Famer. Halliburton's better, gonna be better than Dwayne Wade. He's really good, but he's not. Doesn't make yeah. a bigger bust than Darko. Like like you, I mean, you made the perfect point. Darko surrounded by all stars. Yes. Like a championship so, team is still gonna look Hall good. of Famers. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, what? Killian much less. Killian much less. Could kill, all right. Killian is not a bigger bust than Darko. I'm not comparing the two like in terms of like... How sad is it that we have three people we can be like, who's the biggest bust ever? Killian, Darko, and what? Seku. Seku. I don't even like... Like, I know a lot of people are upset about Killian, and, I, and like deservedly so, I guess, because it's still a top 10 pick, but you know how I feel about the NBA lottery. It's like, after two or three, it's kind of like, roll a dice. Like, yeah. like it's like... Mm-hmm. Part of the reason it's called the lottery there. Yeah, but if, if we going as far it, as 15, like I can't be mad if you're 15 picked and, and like work out. The other factors into it, if the Pistons drafted Carmelo or D Wade, they would have won another championship. And they weren't winning a championship no matter who they drafted in the Killian pick. Yeah, that's fair. The um, I, I think Jeff and I looked this up the other day. It was like only like 2 to 3% of people in the NBA draft like actually make it yeah. in the NBA, which is like. Yeah. That's a shocking. D-Buck says, Darko is only getting four to eight minutes per game and giving us more than Hayes getting 28 minutes per game. I, you, that's you, how do you say Hayes one more time? Hayes. It was all caps. Can you pull up, someone pull up Darko's stats? Was it really only four to eight minutes? Let me look up. And is that are also something. like more indicative of him being like a bust because like he couldn't get on the floor? And then mind you too, like he mm-hmm. had a career like after the Pistons where he didn't make it work. You know, it's not like a Bruce Let's Brown who goes elsewhere and makes a name for himself or Detroit. KCP. He, he was uh, was far from what Darko was, by the way. Those two last per game. He's getting yeah, four. And, he got four and a half minutes per game his first year, and scored one point four points per game. Oh my god! What about rebounds? What rebounds he had? Uh, rebounds one point three. Jesus Christ! And seven his sec- foot. His second year, he got six point nine minutes per game, and he scored one point eight points per game. 
game and Boards. averaged less rebounds at 1.2. Any blocks in there? Uh, no, because he would have got more than half four a block. That's awful. At um, seven foot. And then he got traded to Toronto and got 13.9 minutes per game there and you averaged 4.8 points. Mm. And how many rebounds? Minnesota was his best year. 2.7. What are you in Minnesota? Minnesota. He was decent in Minnesota. Minnesota. Averaged 8.8 .8 points per game and 4.6 points per game. His career averages are 18 and a half. Oh, no. Nope, that's minutes. Game started. Oh. Minutes per game. No, yeah. 18 and a half minutes per game. Six points per game. Four. Four point two rebounds. Here's the thing about Darko. And it, half a block. It's not a conversation between Darko and Killian. Darko is like one of the all time busts. In he like is the, the biggest NBA bust history. in the history of professional sports. Darko? Yes. What about Kwame or Anthony Anthony Benton? Anthony, Anthony Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. He's number one. Yeah, yeah Anthony Bennett was worse. It's a tough one. Yeah. I don't think he got his full But again, like who was yeah. drafted? He, he didn't get who was drafted th after Anthony Bennett? I don't even remember. That that draft was terrible. Yeah. So like there was there was that. Yeah. There was there was that part of it. But the other thing with Darko, it's funny, I was watching during COVID, I don't know if you guys remember, but they started on Fox Sports, they started uh replaying old Piston games. And so one of the games they did was game four of the NBA finals in two thousand four when the Pistons won it. And Doc Rivers was commentating at that time and he go it's garbage time, Pistons are up a lot and he's like, Now listen I know that this draft class was really good. Dwayne Wade's got a hell of a future in the NBA, yeah. but there's something special about this Darko kid. That's what Doc Rivers said. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to hear the top five of the Anthony Doc Bennett draft class? Doc was blessed with KG, Paul Pierce, and uh, Anthony Ray Bennett, Allen. Victor Oladipo, yeah, Otto, that Oladipo. Otto Porter, Cody Zeller, Alex Len. <sighs> Those are the top. That was the top five oh, of the Anthony my. Bennett draft class. Yikes! And then uh, the bottom, the next five. Old people look good for mid-play injuries. Nerlens Noel, Ben McLemore, KCP. Ooh. Trey Burke. Redraft. Was KCP top five? KCP yeah, might, be number, number one, yeah, might no, be number one, bro. Might be number one. Because CJ McCollum's ten. Giannis oh. went fifteen. Oh, that's the Giannis draft. Yeah. Oh. So KCP's top five. KCP's probably top five. Yo, Giannis was in that draft too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Giannis was Thanks fifteen. For... Rudy Gobert went seventeen, or twenty-seven. Sorry. Okay. Redraft. Giannis one. Giannis one. Rudy cool. Gobert two. Okay, let's just say. CJ McCollum three. KCP four. <sighs> no, Victor Oladipo, you got to just off the upside, like There's like also back in, Stephen in, Adams. But, but I'm saying, like, give yourself hindsight, like Stephen Adams. Guys. I know, Dennis I know, Schroeder. but like easy, he had a. All NBA caliber season, Victor Oladipo. Like KCP Goji is good Dang, as he's been go. in the league for so long. He never Mason had Plumlee. close to that. Tim Hardaway You're taking Jr. that. I'm taking KCP. I ain't mad at you. No, I'm, I agree with you. With the Oladipo before the injuries did look special. I just, you know me. I like the longer. KCP's number three. Like me to the plug. I like the longer, bigger guys. Pause. Michael Carter Williams went 11. We're good. We're good on this draft class. Hey, yo! This is a trash class. ass class. This is the worst draft class ever. Yeah, probably. Probably so. I, I, want, I want to ask this real quick about uh, Killian, though. Bitch, I feel like Gorgie Dang. What? <laughs> no, say it. Gorgie Jang was in that draft class. Me and my boys used to sing that. Bitch, I feel like Gorgie Dang. Why? I don't know. We used to put people's names in songs like that. Oh. All right. Oh, when you rapped? Yeah. That's funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was I about to say? Oh. And I'm, and I'm not comparing them as players, but like... I'm taking KCP off the conversation. I was going to say that first, but can can Killian find a role or, or home the same way Bruce Brown did, like post Pistons, because he does have the defensive prowess? No, no. <laughs> like we How used, about we used, we used, no? <laughs> <laughs> if no. you can't Hard shoot, pass. yo Nick, if you're listening, please clip that part. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> if you can't shoot, you're not gonna you're gonna have trouble finding a home in the NBA. What about like? No. <laughs> <laughs> As a facilitator. Like, no. <laughs> like it's, it's over for it, man. I, I, I liked Killian, and it sucks. The Wimby stuff made sense to me. We saw no. the Chris. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> the crisscross croissant sounded like it was so legit. It's There's fire. fucking 50 people you can pull out of the G League that can shoot better than Killian. What about defend like him? Yeah, there's Six more assists. that you can find that can defend like him. Yeah? He's, I mean, he does have upside, but I think it's just his 
His downside is <laughs> like the, He's got downs. the worst positional <laughs> player in the NBA, which is it's a pretty pretty tough uh, floor to step over. Are you in agreement, Sir Platty? Yeah, for sure. For sure. God as damn. much as I, as much as I love Killian. It pains me, man. I really want to buy into like the role player ki- version of Killian Hayes. <laughs> Not the star player. It, Never was that. In PWMU, yeah. Killian will be working a fireworks stand next year. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy, man. I want him to work out because he does play great defense. He's big, you know, big for his position. He's got great vision. I thought... He has it's a, James Harden! He has a nasty first step, too. Like, he, he always gives by people, but he just... I think he lost that, too. I think the hip injury kind of affected him, like... Yeah. Uh, I agree. And the hit, yeah. No. Sorry, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> Killing him next year on the Pistons. I'm not going to be here.